Hi, it's Hans at happierman.com. Today's topic is more effective problem solving. Oh gosh, problems, who that's a big topic, isn't it? Uh, I had maybe one of the biggest things you want to do if you have problems is kind of better identify what the problem is. Sometimes you'll be working on something, it'll be part of some kind of a goal, but it really has nothing to do with solving a problem. Because a problem will usually be making you so miserable that it kind of overwhelms your life. But you're kind of, because it's so overwhelming, you really don't even want to face it. And you'd rather focus on other things. Uh, for example, I, I was in a bad marriage many years ago, and I detail the, in my book, Leave Your Wife and Become a Happier Man with the Three-Step System, available on the uh, happierman.com website. And, you know, the marriage was just uh, very frustrating. It was making me miserable. There was all kinds of problems going on associated with this. But the biggest one was just being there, married to her. So I was always working on these other problems. Well, if I just work more hours, <clears throat> make more overtime pay, I'll have enough money to try to pay off these bills, try to have enough money so I can actually do something somewhat that I'd like to do before she spends all the money. Uh, if I make enough money, maybe that'll make her happier. She won't be screaming and mad all the time. And, you know, cutting me down continuously. Um, you know, maybe if I adjust how I do things, maybe if I get a part-time job, maybe if I start some sort of a part-time business to make more money, and to try to, you know, money, money would, you know, more money usually solves a lot of these problems, but I tried all that, and, uh, uh, it was never really enough. So the real problem was the being with her and the, how she treated me and and uh, the unwillingness to like help the, the family situation. And my solution was to leave her. That was, the problem was being married to her. The solution is to leave. Of course, leaving your wife is a, is just a massively difficult, painful, dramatic, chaos-filled mess. Yes, if you're if you have a bad marriage like I had, leaving is going to be just a nightmare. It's going to be just horrible, horrible, horrible. But at that time in my life, being married to her was so much worse than the pain and the suffering involved with the leaving that I decided to go through with it. And that's what I'm kind of getting at with this problem, effective problem solving is sometimes trying to solve a problem is going to be really, really hard. It's going to be really difficult. It's going to take enormous amounts of your time, effort, money. Um, it's going to you're going to have to focus your entire life on solving a big problem. And that's what I did when I left my wife. I focused my entire life on solving this problem. And I solved it. I left her. I started to rebuild my life. Everything started to come into place. And now it took years. It took years. Don't get me wrong. It's not... You know, you're not going to leave your wife today and everything's going to be hunky-dory tomorrow. No, no. If you got a, if you got a verbally abusive wife, if you got a controlling wife, if you got a wife that thinks she owns you, it's not going to be better tomorrow. It's going to be, probably be worse. <laughs> There's going to be a tremendous court battles and vindictiveness and uh, she's going to use the children against you and, but this is your life we're talking about. If this is your problem, get the book, Leave Your Wife and Become a Happier Man with a Three-Step System. It'll save your life. And it, that gets to the heart of this effective problem-solving measure. 
to to make sh- if you have a big problem, you've got to focus on it and 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 dwell on it, not with the idea of of uh, tolerating it, but with the idea of solving it. And what would it take? To not have this problem what would be the steps you would take to not have the problem if you're in a bad marriage the steps to take are to leave her and start the divorce process hire an attorney and do all of that stuff that's how you would solve the problem and that will that, will, that doing that will create other problems down the road but you solve the biggest problem which is the effective problem solving technique number one is to solve the biggest problem first uh, in my case how much you know paying off the mortgage uh, doing the house renovations and the landscaping and funding my 401k and worrying about the kids education those were all small problems compared to the big problem of the marriage itself and being with her. So once I solved that big problem of leaving her, all those other problems went away. I left the house. The mortgage is her responsibility. I uh, uh, I left the house. No more remodeling. No more landscaping. I left the, the 401k. Whatever, right? I'll rebuild later. The kids' education, well, I didn't worry about the kids' long-term education. They're, they're in a, in a, that's really not your concern if you're in a bad marriage. Your concern is to be a decent enough dad that you can love them and support them as best you can. And that's what I've done. I didn't put one dime away for their education, but they're doing darn good even without that, you'll find that if your kids, you, you, your kids will be resourceful if they have at least one person to rely on, their dad, you, to help them and guide them and do what he can for them, to love them unconditionally and do all that stuff. But getting back to the problems, uh, focus on, you know, I've heard good advice about goals was to maybe focus on two goals at once at a time and just focus on them and you really your goals <coughs> when you have big problems the goals will just be to solve the problem in my case it was to leave in the wife that was a massive goal that's all I really did uh, for quite some time was to leave and to focus on improving my life and getting through it so you might think about If you're in a bad marriage, let's say the simple thing to do is one, buy the book and then read it and then and then start making your plans to leave her. And then two, the secondary goal is to start figuring out how to recreate your life. And this this effective problem solving, this works with everything is to focus on things with enough ferocity of your intention that you you've you've let's say done the best you can for yourself you know you want to focus on 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 your life you don't want to be frittering away your, your time and energy on all kinds of things it's kind of similar to how a, an athlete, a professional athlete, would focus on the game. So they would, they want you need to spend most of your time and effort focusing on the the game at hand, not not all over the board. You don't want to do all kinds of worrying and, and doing other things. Uh, uh, I'm finding that in the in the position I have now, which is extremely good for me and extremely fascinating but there's just so many things I need to attend to 
that I, I that, that, but it, it's more effective to just do one. And today I'm going to do this one thing, and I'm going to do it till it's complete. And tomorrow I'll do the next thing. But you know that's not always how it works. But I, in my past jobs, I would always do it the way I described it with the uh, focusing on one thing at a time and getting it as done as I could, giving it and then passing it along to somebody else. And so time, plenty of time, effort, and intent on one thing at a time until you get it as far along as you can. And you're not going to always, let's say far along as you can, you're not always going to solve something just because you started this morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. You're not going to solve it by midnight today. No, it doesn't really work like that. But if you spend enough time during the day to, to work on something, give it your all, uh, and then it is for as much time as you have, and then you might have to put it aside and hit it again tomorrow. Uh, if I'm if you have a job, 8 to 5, and you're working on something in your spare time, well, yeah, you get up early and you work on it until you have to leave to work. You go to work, you focus on that, you come home, and you, you jump back on, on your side project. Right? That's an effective way to, to move things forward. This is how effective people deal with problems. This is how effective people get things done. And you keep focusing on that until it's complete. And you put your whole mind in it, you know, don't, uh, uh, don't be, let's say, watching TV while you're trying to write a, uh, an article, right? Uh, if you're trying to write, if you're trying to focus on a math problem, you turn off, you know, just do that, right? Don't, the multitasking, that really isn't that great of a, a thing for most people. Listening to music while you're trying to work, mm, don't think that's a very good idea either. Trying to do two or three things at once, nah, I don't think so. I think you want to focus on it. Focus on it intently in the time you have. So yeah, those are some effective problem solving techniques I think you'll get a lot out of. Uh, the main one is to try to solve your biggest problem first. Uh, I was just, uh, I was kind of thinking of this idea because Let's say on the national, on the world scale, we have there's a problem today, and then we won't get anywhere near solving it today. But then there'll be a new problem tomorrow, and then it'll be like this, this continually adding new problems to try to, but you without ever solving the old one. So like we're always talking, and then world scale, they're always talking about a new problem. But there's all these old problems that are nowhere near solved. And if you follow that kind of world national model of never solving your old problems, you're going to have just as bad of success as the world governments do in solving these old, in solving problems. Because you, you, the effective way is to keep working at that problem until it's solved. And you may you may have to come to the point where you've solved it enough that it's resolved itself enough. So give that idea some thought. All for now.